So they've got like a tomb there, but his body is not there. That's basically the size he was. I think his weight was around 40 something kilos. He was infected with, uh, he basically died of tuberculosis, but he had malaria and some other kind of illness. The irony is, is that he came here basically, first of all, he wasn't well. He had a French doctor, French doctor couldn't save him. Then again, he was French, so that wasn't much use. Anyway, he came here to Santa Marta to look for a voyage back to Europe to treat his illness, tuberculosis. I just thought that was a... Uh, sorry, with this room that we're in now, this is the Enramada. This is like the mill. Uh, this looks like a, a horse or mule driven mill. Cane would have gone somewhere in here and the juices would have flowed out elsewhere. Through there is the, is the burner, so they would have fired it with the bagazo or some other wood maybe perhaps. This is like the furnaces here and the heat would have gone, I don't know, maybe this is where they boiled it here and the furnaces are underneath here. The irony is, is that um, he basically broke South America free from the royal family, from Spanish rule. And um, he himself basically broke the continent away before it was actually sustainable in itself. So he himself was looking to Europe to find himself um, treatment for his illness because he couldn't get the treatment here in South America. I just think that's quite ironic, isn't it? He just broke all these people away for the uh sorry this room here is the distillery this is where they actually made the rum i don't actually quite get it there's holes in the ground it should have been like a, a vat of some kind to do the process um so yeah he broke the continent away from its only source of progress its only source of enlightenment advanced technology broke it away before it was ready and basically plunged everyone oh check that iguana out all right i was gonna go in here we'll go in there in a second ah oh, this might be a free part video let's get up close and see if we do you see this iguana here there it is check it out it's got his tail up in here i don't normally see him like this maybe he's a bit angry oh he's running he might attack me. I think he's standing his ground. Let me reverse. All right. It's not an iguana video. <laughs> it's not an iguana video, guys. Um, don't want to scare him too much. So, mainland Europe being the source of pretty much everything that was advancing in those times. Industrial Revolution. This is where they would have kept the um, the rum once it was made. <laughs> it's turning into a rum making video. Let's jump down here. Got some sad news for you guys. Okay, so here's the here's where they would have kept the the rum in barrels underneath. You've got a light there, uh, gates and such. It's not very big, so you can see the size of production here wasn't that high. But the sad news is, this is where they would have kept the slaves. What slaves, when they hit them, they would have kept them here. I don't know, when they were fearing that they're gonna escape or anything like that. They would have kept them in this dark, dingy hole. And that is in Simon Bolivar's time. So yeah, slavery is still around. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. So for all the ills, yeah, the Spanish, it's from my British perspective, the Spanish were pillaging the continent, you know, extracting all the gold, bringing in the slaves, pushing the sugar cane and so on and so forth. But in essence, Spain was really their only anchor to anything that was advanced would have brought them 
spirituality with religion it would have brought them technology soon to be the industrial revolution literature ideas um, ideas think everything nothing really came out of South America apart from material raw materials and agriculture um, and I think yep Simon Bolivar probably took these guys out way too soon the people were too fractured too diverse too many different cultures languages peoples races um, and they just couldn't gel they couldn't mold a coherent country like they could in the United States um, out of what Simon Bolivar did for in my view for entirely selfish reasons um, in the end he became almost a dictator himself um, and we can see how the continent just fractured and broke apart fairly quickly even while he was alive so I mean this is a lot to talk we can talk about this endlessly I just gave you my overview of it but yeah if you're in Santa Marta you definitely got to come check this place out absolutely beautiful beautiful grounds and a lot of history to it as well he's not here now actually he's been taken to Caracas that's where his body was soon taken to Caracas and that's where he's been buried unfortunately in the uh, in amongst the beast the enemy the so Hugo Chavez socialist Venezuela now Maduro but yeah this is still looking good if you can come check it out much love make sure you subscribe it's a two-part video over and out